Yeah, good day everyone. It's David here, RF Shop. Um, one of the things that, that's really fascinating to me is, is, it's not a new thing, but I actually only really got to, to appreciate the, um, the value of it, is Wi-Fi calling. Um, so what I just want to do in this video is, is discuss Wi-Fi calling and, and at the end of the video I just really want to explain why it super excites me as far as getting connected and getting connected in the um, areas where signals are actually weak because Wi-Fi calling has a huge beneficial impact on your mobile phone. So I have quite a table set up here so I'm just going to go through all my notes and explain what um, what the thinking is and, and what, I, what I want to you to know about what excites me about this. So first of all, what, what I understand and what you should understand when um, you think about Wi-Fi calling is it is significantly different than the apps that we are used to use when calling one person to another person. It's a similar concept, but it's not the same. It's different and I think it's better. So if you think about WhatsApp, FaceTime, Skype, those things. So um, you just go to my phone. I'll just show you as a hypothetical example. Um, <clears throat> what you have is, let's say I go to my, my apps, my basic app. So say I have WhatsApp or Skype. What it needs is you can use a data network. So you are um, connected to the internet, not specifically using this thing as a phone, and you're connecting to somebody else. The thing there for me is you are connecting to somebody else who is also using WhatsApp or is also using Skype. In other words, it's already a point-to-point -point connection between two devices, between you and the other person. He could be on a phone, he could be on a PC, that's nice, but that means he does have to have something. You can't just call him with the assumption that's what it's going to be. Um, I mean, it's the same with FaceTime as well. So FaceTime is obviously that's something that comes with the iPhone. So I can FaceTime somebody else, but they need to have a phone that supports it. So they need to have an iPhone and all those kind of um, you know, feature limits. Not a problem, it works really well. And I love it when I have to FaceTime somebody that has an iPhone. It works like a dream. But the limit is, he needs to have an iPhone. Um, what you can't do, and this is, this is kind of just explaining this a bit, and I'm, I know the audience that, that watches these videos could be anything from fellow engineers to um, people who are really just using the phone. So when you talk to somebody phone to phone, like I dial in my classic number here and expect a uh, similar uh, response on the other side, that goes through the um, what we call the phone network. In the old days, there would have been the GSM network. So you had a voice network and a data network. That's all getting convoluted and it's all becoming more and more um, the same thing. Um, but basically, what I have here is I take a number, just a classic phone number, um, whatever, and I call the other person on his phone. And it could be anywhere. It doesn't have to be a mobile phone. And that's basically the difference. Now, with Wi-Fi calling, what you do as a user, you are using this phone and you are connected to the internet through Wi-Fi or you could be connected through the cellular network. If you enabled it, you don't necessarily know which way you go. So you don't necessarily know if you are connected to Wi-Fi or the 4G network. However, you can make a phone call. So I could use this phone as is and make a phone call to somebody else, not realizing that I'm not on a 4G network, but I am on my little home network, Wi-Fi network. I mean, if you're at McDonald's or somewhere and there's free Wi-Fi and you happen to be connected to that um, network, that could use Wi-Fi calling. Um, there's obviously a lot of ways that it works, a lot of caveats, a lot of rules and um, all sorts of exclusions to it. So I'm um, just on my PC, on my laptop, I basically opened up three pages, one for Optus, one for Telstra and one for Vodafone. And they explain to you what they have to say about it. Um, I, I think a very basic rule of thumb is if you are on a contract, um, if you're on a contract with any of the three network operators, you most likely you do have Wi-Fi calling. If you're on a prepaid with LD Mobile or with Boost or somebody else, have a look because I don't think you are necessarily active. Uh, you're not necessarily enabled. So that's that's the one thing that you need to look at. The other thing is the phone model. So I know on iPhones, because I'm an iPhone user, but that's just me, iPhone 6 or later, you need to have the latest operating system, iOS. With Samsungs, with Huawei, with all the other phones, there would also be a list of exclusions. But on the um, actual uh, network operator web pages, they do talk about this. Um, um, there you go, this is an example. 
on Optus, it says, how do I check my, I'm running the latest software on my phone? So it is on my Samsung. The information is there. Um, important one, can I call emergency triple zero using Wi-Fi calling? That's an important one, and look at that. Yes, emergency triple zero calls are supposed to support it over Wi-Fi calling. Man, what more do you need? Um, another important concern that I've heard is, yeah, but is it fast enough? To, how fast do your Wi-Fi network need to be? Now, here's the question, or the answer actually to that. What broadband bandwidth is required for Wi-Fi calling? Uh, should be available, blah, blah, blah. Wi-Fi calling generally uses around 100 to 220 kilobits per second. Now, if you don't understand how fast that is, it is not. It's very, very basic. It's very, very slow. So for Wi-Fi calling to be a feature that you can actually think this is something I could just enable on my phone, you don't have a fast network. You, don't, you, can, do, you can use it at Macas. You can go to McDonald's, you can use Wi-Fi calling and you could be connected. It doesn't mean that you make a call through Wi-Fi and there's no data um, costs involved because it actually, it's a service that is supported through your network operator. So your network operator knows that you are making the call. You are making the call using the phone number on this phone and you will be considered and charged as if you are making the call. It's just the way that you access it is actually through another means than going from you to the actual base station out there. So as you could see, there's um, all the FAQs and the same detail applies to the Telstra and the um, Vodafone site as well, which is great. But let me demonstrate how this works, just in a basic concept. So I'm obviously I'm here in the office. I have a, um, a Wi-Fi network and as you would expect, my phone is connected to Wi-Fi. Um, I'm just gonna turn this on. So this is the office phone. Um, so I will show you how this, what's going to happen. So first of all, let me get my screen on. So recording. All right. So it's recording my screen. Then I would go to settings, go to mobile, Wi-Fi calling. There's a feature there, as you can see. It's on. So Wi-Fi calling on this phone. That's it. I'm, I'm on a Vodafone contract here. Um, I enabled it on the phone. That's all I do. Now, just to show the demonstration or the actual power of this, I'm going to disconnect me. I'm putting myself in flight mode. So I'm on flight mode. I know my phone is absolutely off and I still have my Wi-Fi on, as you can see there. Um, right now, I'm going to call the office. So go to, so you can see everybody that I'm calling. <laughs> um, uh, RF Shop Australia. Yeah, I'm calling myself. So I'm just going to put speakerphone on. Oh dear. For general inquiries yeah, yeah, okay. and accounts. I want to talk to number two, which is this guy. It's going through. There we go. This is it. So I'm not going to, you know, I might as well. See, that's my phone number, 0423-478-702. Remember that if you have a problem, just call me. Okay, there we go. Accepting. Whoops. That's it. That was it. It works. I mean, what more can I do? I could maybe call. So I'll use this phone and I'll just um, call my mobile number. Four two three four seven eight seven zero two. Remember the number. If you have any technical problems, just give me a call. There we go. The office is calling me. Um, so decline. That's it. That's Wi-Fi calling. That's that's really how simple it is. It's it's to me, it's an absolutely amazing amazing feature. Now, but you may ask. Why, why can I get excited about something as simple as this? I'm supposed to get excited about antennas. Um, well, of course there's antennas involved, but the big thing is, if you can't afford to buy a booster, or if you feel that a booster is too limiting in the sense that it's, it's a bit of an uh, expense, plus it's only going to help you on one network operator, not on everything, you can put this aside and you get yourself something like this. Now this is the, um, the Telstra example, but the um, same logic applies to Vodafone, the same logic applies to Optus. You can go anywhere. So you have in your caravan, you're in your motorhome, um, you have your, your mobile internet with you, so you get yourself a modem and you have a SIM card from anybody. It doesn't matter who you have it from, but now I'm getting a real call here. That's a real call coming in and it's um, it's on Wi-Fi calling still, so I'll just um, have to stop that. Now, if you want to go away, or you're in a weak signal area, or you take it on your motor, I mean, you get a mobile internet connection, you get yourself a SIM card, 
and you get yourself an internet connection. Now remember the SIM card on the actual connection has nothing to do with the service and that's the beauty of it. So this is SIM card number X. I mean, consider Aldi, consider Vodafone, consider Optus, consider Telstra, consider Boost, doesn't matter, whatever works for you, if there's something that you want to do, you take this mobile internet with the external antennas and you set it up and you get yourself a Wi-Fi connection. Then you take your phone, which could be any other company, Vodafone, Telstra, Optus, doesn't matter. And if you are connected to Wi-Fi through this thing, you are on the air and you'll get a call to your mobile phone number as long as you are in the actual network of this device. Now that's one thing that um, I'm not quite sure yet how it's working because I've heard contradictory concerns about Wi-Fi calling. Um, if I look at the FAQs, it says you can roam from within the network to the 4G network and back again. But I have heard and seen that you, when you leave your Wi-Fi network, it is a bit of, um, at the moment, not, not stability or certainty that it actually keeps you on. So I think rule of thumb, stay in the Wi-Fi network for as long as you are on the call. So if somebody calls you, don't go for a wander outside into the field, just stay within range, um, within range of the device itself. That's probably a better approach for now. Um, it might get better, maybe this is just the one, one or two reports with a specific phone, but I think it's just safe for now in Wi-Fi calling, stay within the boundaries of the device. That's fine, that's one thing. Other than that, I mean, you can get your phone up and running, you can get connected again, have phone service, plus of course the data the, the service through this thing is going to work, because that's the primary goal of what you have, and you're connected. You're connected through data, you're connected with voice. That's Wi-Fi calling in a nutshell. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you like what we're doing, please um, subscribe to our channel. And if you have any questions, do visit our website. Um, give us some feedback on this channel. And um, other than that, hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.